Hello everyone! Welcome back to a game that we haven't seen in forever, much like myself, but like this game, we're both still alive, so it's all good. Anyways guys, hello! Welcome back to more To The Edge Of The Sky! I know it's been forever, and I'm still tentatively on hiatus still, so this is one of the most rare moments in which I got time to do something, do like a one sort of episode recording for you guys, but still, I'm not totally back, you know, on my regular schedule just yet. But here we are, I'm just gonna take advantage of the situation to be able to do this for you guys! Yes, yeah, so... I know a long, long time ago, um, when we finished up the chapter 4, To the Edge of the Sky, the um, creators, of course, had announced in the update an additional extra stories called Through the Eyes of Four, I think it was. And a lot of you have been asking me, like, if I'm gonna do it, and, you know, and, and I said, yes, of course, I'm gonna do it as soon as they release it. Oh, why is it really loud? Is it loud for you guys? Oh, no, okay, we're just gonna turn it down a little bit more. Okay, there we go. So yeah, so I said I was going to do it as, as soon as the creators will post that that extra story on Itch.io so that it can be played on the PC slash Mac platform because that's what I used to play the games to play this game uh, on, and because originally it was it was only supposed to be available for I guess like the um. The, the apps, but I don't use the app because I, I don't have the game on the app. So anyways, but regardless, here we are. We are back here on this main menu, main menu and we see here, after under mission select, we have the extra stories. So let's go ahead and click on that and it takes us right into, I assume, is Ford's point of view. So yes, let's get to it. Let's, of course, dive right in without further ado because we've been waiting long enough. So yeah, let's, um, let's I guess it's... This looks familiar. This is this. How far are we going back on this? Is it like from the very beginnings? I don't know. Either way, let's find out. So it's quiet. I'm assuming we're four. Quiet. Okay. Two phase scientists have been gossiping for exactly 48 minutes and 33 seconds. Wow. It's a lot of gossip. But you know, it's a lot of tea. So I understand it. Okay. Okay. So. They're somewhere behind some wall and I don't bother to look their way. But I know I'd find the red outlines if I did. My head is filled with all this fucking trash. Oh, four. Noise from all around me filters into my brain, blending into some head-splitting cacophony of nonsense. Okay, so yes, we are in four's point of view. The sounds fill my head and make it he make it feel heavy. My temples throb painfully, making it hard to concentrate on anything but the pain. Fuck. <laughs> my augs are acting up. Yes, so... But in case people need a little bit of a refresher in terms of our, the characters and what has happened so far in the story, uh, we have found out that Four, Four's is Ogs is basically being able to see through like buildings and such, like basically like almost like a heat, like heat vision in a way. Not heat, like, no, but that's not heat. Is it? That is that the t proper term for it? You know how like you know camera has like you know like night vision, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, but his is like almost like heat vision where he can see bodies of people through the walls based on like you know i guess the red outlines of like you know their body temperature or whatever i only assume that's how it works that's why he's so like good at like guess assassinating people so i know i need more meds before i really start to feel like my head isn't my own anymore yes but he has no con he has uh he has a hard handle of it of his augs because you know he these are fairly like new experimented augs and he's the only one who was you know, a he was only he was the only uh, subject that was able to like I guess assimilate with the with the odds. I, sim I think that was the story. So not that it really feels like mine anyway. At least I know I got a pickup later. Okay, that thought helps me stay focused. Even as I'm forced to listen to how the staff got to party in some private club during the weekend, I scoff. Ugh, it's always some bullshit story that I don't need or want to hear. Oh, it's six! Ah, it's six! Oh my god, my comms go off in my ear. The caller ID pops up in the corner of my eye, and I waste no time in answering the call. You know, six! Yellow! That was fast. <laughs> Trying to ignore the world again? Yes. Maybe. What is it? Six chuckles. It sounds different. Tired. Mission start in a few hours. In a few hours. Okay, so you're coming too, right? 
Teresa, he predicts your target will be there at about the same time. Okay, so yeah, got it. Oh, no, no! Is this the beginnings of that one mission that we went on that was quote-unquote really botched because we got- we killed the guy and we also got injured or four got shot or something. No. Four ended up killing the guy because the guy stabbed us. Yes, that was it. Yeah, I got it. I moved to press the I moved to press the end call button, but six keeps talking, making me pause. I have a favor to ask you. Okay, huh? I need you to get seven. Oh, oh yes. Isn't she supposed to go with you? Yep, I'll have her join me, but I need to do something first. Okay. You're coming anyway, so I need you to take her with you. Okay, seven. The image of her bright smile eases off the pressure in my head. I'm thankful that Six can't see me right now. Seven, the memory of her smile makes me smile too. Ah! <laughs> Maybe this night won't be so bad. Alright, I'll get her. Thank you, thank you! So, so cheerful. I'll see you during the mission, gotta run. Okay, Six ends the call before I can, leaving me sitting there with my finger hovering over the screen. Okay, so I sit there like that for a moment, my thoughts going to seven. Thinking about her, I close my eyes and sigh. Thinking about her makes everything quieter. The noise, the pain, it all fades back. And I can, and all I can see is her smile. I send her a message telling her to meet me on the rooftop. Okay, so I know I need to pick up my meds first. Uh, Seven's reply is instant. I chuckle at that. <laughs> I wonder, does she reply to everyone that quickly or just me? I don't know! <laughs> I push myself up and head, off, and head up to the roof. Oh, look at him. He's like, he's like thinking about us in a good way. So I stand leaning against the railing waiting for whoever to get my meds. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. I, I st I'm starting to remember the scene that played out with this from our end. They're late. The... Uh, the what? The can? Oh, the can I got for seven rests in my pocket, warming my side through the fabric. Oh yeah, he got us a drink, I remember. I picked it up on a whim, but I hope she, uh, but I hope that she likes it. Uh, my thoughts of seven are cut short when I see someone approach, and they're gonna talk shit about me. The face staff uniform tells me all I need to know. I don't make a single move to greet the woman. She stops in front of me. Yes. Let's get this over with, yeah. I can't believe I'm the one who has to do this. Well, it's your fucking job, so get over it. She scoffs, not bothering to hide the disgust from her face. But there's something more, something she tries to hide. She's scared of me. Suyeon shoves the bag at me. I reach for it, but she lets go before I can really grab it. And so it hits the floor with a quiet thud. Tch, really? So petty. We both stare at the bag for a moment, neither one, of, neither one making a move to pick it up. I reach down to pick it up, holding back what I really want to say to this bitch. And Najid wasn't available to do your run from park for you. Uh, you should really be thanking me for even doing this. <laughs> Lady, I thought this was part of your job. Like, what? I should be doing a lot of things. Thanking you is far from being on that list. I don't like that creepy woman any more than you. I don't care about your opinion. Like, why are you telling me this? Yeah, thanks. I don't bother to hide the sarcasm, but it doesn't look like she gets it at all. Of course not. Suyun rubs her arms as her voice shakes. I'm sure you understand I have no desire to be around some mentally unstable killer. Then fuck. Then why are you still here? <laughs> Fucking go. Uh, yeah, whatever. Fuck you too. <laughs> yeah, fuck you too. Go. I'm not keeping you. Exactly. Fuck. <laughs> like, you. Like, I don't need to hear any of this from you. I don't understand. Like, why are you just wasting your time? I just want her out of my face before Seven comes, but I already know it's too late. There she is. Yeah, there I am. <laughs> she stands there near the entrance to the elevator. Oh, yeah. I didn't want Seven to see this, but now that she has. What are you going to think of me now? Nah, we're not judgmental. I don't give a shit what about what anyone thinks of me, but Seven is different. Suyun practically runs from me, heading right past Seven. But instead of walking past her, she stops. Are you meeting with that psycho? <laughs> you just can't keep your mouth shut, Suyun. Psycho? How fucking original. Yeah. I turn away from them, looking over at the city horizon instead. I still hear their conversation though, even without trying. If you mean four, then yes. I resist the urge to look back to see what kind of expression Seven is making. You seem normal enough. You're new, right? You haven't been here long enough to have Dr. Park implant her machines in you. Tch, like I'd let, like I'd let Park anywhere near her. 
She's not getting to play. She's not getting to play around with Seven. Like hell, I would let her over my dead fucking body. He's so protective. Oh my god. Though, though, if you're in Phantom Alpha, I imagine you must have some anyway. What machines? Uh, do you have a problem with Ox? Uh, I have a problem with anyone who sacrifices a humanity for a little power. I roll my eyes at that. There it is. The reason she's been stuck being an admin for years. <laughs> Still, you're going to meet up alone with that psycho. Still, yeah, you're going to meet up alone with that psycho. I think you should know about him. I feel my body stiffen up at that. Shit. I don't have to guess what, she's to, what she wants to tell Seven. But I don't really care. For a second, I consider stopping her, but... Something keeps me from, at, something keeps me from making a single move. Never know when he might go off and snap. Snap? What are you even talking about? Just because you're their teammate doesn't mean you can trust them. Bullshit. He probably killed the other participants in Project Angmar himself. I rolled my eyes. Another idiot spreading lies. Great. Killed... What's Project Angmar? I've done my good deed by warning you. You should ask him yourself. He can probably hear us anyway, with his freakish hearing. I resist the urge to just turn around and answer that. Just don't say you weren't warned. Suyun hurries off down the steps. With her, fin with her finally gone, we're left alone. I was told that our decision during that time would over would matter here as well too, but I don't know if it's playing out right now or if like any of my saves are playing out right now because it's been so long. After a moment or two, I hear Seven's footsteps approaching me. I don't turn to look at her, but I can see I can see her in my peripheral vision. She's gonna want to know. Well, yes, I'm curious, but like I don't judge you. People know about Angmar anyways. Anyway, even if some of it is just wild rumors. Er, seven trails off and I sigh. I'll tell her myself. The truth, but not, the truth, not that bullshit. Yeah. Enzo Kang, subject 004. I didn't plan to tell her my name, but when it slips out, I realize that I don't regret it. Aw, screw the rules. I want her to know. I want her to know the real me. Ah! Last living participant in Project Angmar. Park's one big fucking- Park's one big failure. Okay. What? I glance over to her. That's what she was talking about. Oh, what is Project Engmar? I mean, if you don't feel comfortable talking about it though. She wor she's worried about me. Of course I am. I'm sorry that she said all of that. I know I should reply to Seven, but I keep I just keep going. Project Engmar was meant to create the perfectly enhanced raids. Yeah. Phases master assassins only better. I sigh quietly and look back over to the to Olympia's horizon. The failure rate for bodies accepting the Angmar Augs were high. Ar yeah, was high, higher than any of the scientists predicted. They fucked up and 73 other race died. Yeah, I scowl. They couldn't figure out why I didn't die. Park looked at me. Park looked at my malfunctions and decided that survivor or not, I'm a fucking failure. I'll never, I'll never forget the moment that she told me that. The look on her face was cold. Was so cold. Like she wasn't looking at me as a person. Like all those damn deaths didn't matter. I was just an experiment. Some numbers and statistics. All those who died were just numbers. Just a bunch of fucking failures. I didn't work like she wanted me to. I was broken. So no, so no, way, was she, so no way she was going to call me a success. She looked at her damn numbers and called me a failure. Was fuck fuck her. <laughs> she, what did she know? Broken or not, failure or not, I'm still expected to do my job. Me being in the Alpha team is proof of what they were aiming to create. Seven nods slowly. I activate my augs and turn to look at her. I can see your vitals, or and walls or not, everyone else in the building and in the city around us. Useful for my job, but it comes with some side effects. Yeah, I feel like I'm never alone. Like people are always surrounding me, closing in on me. Sometimes I feel like I can't breathe. I run my fingers through my hair. The augs don't work perfectly. There's a reason they killed so many others. I get migraines. Sometimes they activate on their own. I see too much. I hear too much. And sometimes I can't turn it off. Even if I go hide somewhere, I'm still surrounded. The only real peace I get is when I'm asleep. That's... that's awful. Yeah. And none of it's your fault. That woman got it all wrong. What she said was horrible. And Dr. Park? Uh, I just don't know what to think. She's a bitch, that's what she is. <laughs> but thank you for trusting me with this. Yeah, it's no secret around here and I just wanted you to hear it from me. Seven looks up at me, tears forming at the corners of her eyes. I can only guess what she's thinking, but her reaction makes me feel lighter. Can I give you a hug? Yes, I think they're playing out because I did agree. I was like, I want to give you a hug. You need a hug. 
<laughs> a hug? Yes! Please! I do it! I look away, my heart doing a weird flip the more I think about it. She wants to hug me. I don't remember the last time I wanted anyone to be anywhere near me, much less touch me. But a hug with seven. Yes, I want it. Yes! I want it! <laughs> I want it! I got it! You got it! I didn't realize how much I wanted until she asked me. Though I appreciate the fact that she did ask. Yeah, of course. That she considered the fact that I might not be comfortable with something like that. I turned back to her, turning my whole body to face her. I feel so stiff, so fucking awkward, but hey, come here, it doesn't matter. I drop my arms to my side, uh, my sides, since I'm not really sure what the hell to do with them. Should I try to hug her first, or is she going to? Or is she going to? Do I hold my arms open for her? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Seven looks surprised, but that goes away in an instant. Yes, she throws her arms around me. I have to fight myself not to stiffen in her embrace from the surprise. She squeezes me tight, and I can only stare down at her in wonder. Seven so soft and warm. She's smaller than I thought somehow, and that thought makes my heart squeeze. I feel unsure, but I want to do something other than stand it, other than stand here. I slowly pat Seven on the back. <laughs> Seven pulls back and looks down at my jacket with a confused look on her face. What is she? Oh yeah, I'm reminded of the can in my pocket. Yes, she must have felt it when she hugged me. Oh, here, yeah. I pull out a can of, car of caramel latte. Caramel, caramel, caramel latte. I say caramel. Seven reaches out to grab the drink. She looks at it curiously before looking back up at me. Did you just get this before you came up here? I got it on the way here. Haha, <laughs> sure. I'm not lying, not really. I just happened to take a small detour to, get it, to go get it for her. Anyway, <laughs> I clear my throat. I called you up here because I wanted to talk to you about the mission with Six. The mission? What about it? Is it finally time to start? I nod. Yes, and I'm going to, and I'm going with you guys. This mission is real discreet. Yeah, no kidding. I don't even understand exactly what we're doing. Uh, we're going to catch some rats. Yes, that's what we're going to do. Then we end up getting stabbed. <laughs> the trip to the location is short and qu the trip to the location is a short and quiet one. I step out of the car. All decked out, looking sleek as hell. The too familiar pressure in my temples flares for a second, and the world around me shifts. It's dark, and it's dark. But even in the darkness, I spot the outlines of Six's hidden form. Playing games again, are we? I hold back a snort. Six always enjoys this little hide-and-seek game a little too much. Not like it lasts long. Not with me, anyway. Okie dokie. I move towards him with Seven following me close behind. Even with the darkness obscuring him completely, I can see him watching us. Six. Uh, the pressure in my temple spikes again. It quickly fades as I turn my augs off, just as Six emerges from the shadows to greet us. Yes, hello. Hey. Though he grins, I don't, I don't miss the tense look in his eyes. Six is a master at hiding things, but the little things do add up and it all serves to confirm that I already suspect. And it already serves to confirm what I already ex suspected. They're working him to the bone again. Oh. I don't say anything, but I glance at Seven as we follow Six. She doesn't say anything to him either, but I wonder if she noticed it too. I think we did. I don't know, I can't remember. We head off into a different street and into the darkened building just off to the side. Yes, yeah, so I take down my mask and look around. Should be here, somewhere. I spot what I'm looking for immediately. Just across the street from us is an empty is an empty looking building. There. So just as I thought, it should be the perfect lookout point for this. That'll be where I'm going. Okay. I'll keep watch for you guys and see if my target shows up. See you after the mission is see you after the mission is done. Yes. Bye. Oh, good luck. Yes. Stay safe. <laughs> Something in my chest tingles pleasantly at her smile. Is she worried about me? Of course I'm worried. I smile back at her and give her a little nod. But that only seems to shock her. Not that I can call that surprising. What is surprising though is to realize just how much I want to make sure that there's nothing for her to worry about. I pull my mask back up and turn around walking out towards the other building. Okay, but as I walk, I can feel someone watching me. Uh, I, tense and per I tense and turn back for a look only to find Seven's eyes following me. It'll, it'll be okay, Evren. I turn away from her before turning the corner, smiling under my mask. <laughs> he's so cute! I watch my target from a distance while Six is dealing with his. I narrow my eyes at the distant figure. So what the fuck is he doing? Whatever it is, he's been standing in place about 150, 
Uh, he's whatever he's uh, whatever it is. He's been standing in place about 155 50, 150 feet away from my location. Oh my god. The comms come alive and I hear Seven's voice in my ear just seconds before the target starts to move. Four, should we rendezvous or are you still looking for your target? Where are you going? My target starts walking off in the opposite direction. He stops, pats himself a few times, and turns around like he just forgot something. Shit, what? Four, oh, oh, okay, so the direction he turns towards is my, my direction. Seven. I waste no time in running for the stairs while I reach out to her. Seven, my target may be heading right past you. Act natural, I'm coming. Okay. Oh, okay, so... I can't remember because, like, we dealt... Yeah, we, us since, like, we, we and Six dealt with one guy because we, like, interrogated him a little bit in that room we cornered him off, and then this is a completely different guy, which is supposed to be Forest Target, right? The one that, like, stabbed us? I run out into the street and look around. Then wait, hold on, what happened? Wait. Oh yeah, okay, so never mind. I'm starting to vaguely remember. I think six knocked him out, I'm pretty sure. So seven's gone. Alright, so shit. I hit the comms button again. Seven, what are you doing? There's a, there's a silence on the other end. One that lasts a little too long for my liking. I don't want to worry. I don't want to assume the worst, but... Pursuing the target. Oh my god. Fuck, no. Yes, activating my augs again, I look around. In the distance, I can see I see two figures. Fall back. I bolt I bolt after seven. Screw the target, I just need to get her to stop. Can't do that. Fuck. <laughs> Maybe it will be okay. Maybe nothing will happen. Maybe seven will capture the guy and everything will be fine. Nope. So why do I feel like I'm freezing from this in Why do I feel like I'm freezing from the inside out? Seven doesn't say anything anymore. Okay, I pick up the pace, speeding through the empty streets to get to her. My heart races are crazy, and this time I don't think it's from running. Seven, respond. I try again. No response. No, no nothing. Can she even hear me? Uh, respond, damn it. There, just around the corner, I, I see two figures. Seven. Just a little more. Just a little more. I'm running as fast as I can, but it's not fast enough. A heavy weight presses down on my chest when I see it. Yes, see her. Shit, 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 shit. Yes, the wor the one word repeats in my head as I get close. Seven's been fucking stabbed. Yes, I've been stabbed. Shit, Seven. The guy moves to pull out the knife, but I get there quicker. I hold on to it and her and stop him from pulling it out. Uh, the guy looks surprised to see me. Good. I'm about to give him the surprise of his fucking life. I keep a firm hold on the knife and turn just enough to elbow the guy right in the face. There's a sickening crack when my elbow connects with him. He almost tugs the knife away from and away with him as he stumbles back, his grip slipping on it when he moves away. Okay, so I reluctantly pull away from Seven. All my focus is on this guy on this guy now. This fucking bastard that dared to hurt Se to, dared to hurt Everin. Oh my god, look at him be so protective. I turn and punch him square in the jaw. Not giving him any more to any moment to breathe, I follow that with a quick uppercut that sends him sailing through the air. So the guy falls back with a thud and I'm on, I'm on him in a flash. Kneeling on his chest, I throw punch after punch after punch. The guy tries to defend himself. He throws his hands up in, in some sad attempt to shield himself from me, but it's no use. He hurt her. He fucking hurt her and all I see is red. I hit him again and again as the freezing cold inside me grows and mixes in with anger. My thoughts are clouded and heavy. All I can think about is how I want to end this guy. All fight is gone in, in him too quickly. When I pull back, I see what I've done. I know I should feel some regret, but... I pull one of my knives from my belt. I quickly cut the guy's throat and end his otherwise too slow death. And too slow death. Oh my god. There's some fucking mercy for him. At least he won't have to die a slow and painful death in a ditch. I mean, were you supposed to kill him in the first place? That's what I was- I, I can't remember. I look down at the blood on my hands and take a slow deep breath. Just one more- just one more for the endless list. Seven, four. Uh, hearing Six's voice pulls me out of my trance. Dude, shit, I got carried away. I should have. Yeah. My attention snaps back to Everin. When I see her, I feel my blood run cold. Uh, seven. I rush to her. The bloody knife clatters through the ground like a piece of junk. Shit, shit, shit. No, I'm bleeding. I grab her onto her shoulder to try and steady her. Our eyes meet then. 
Tears run down her face, mixing with the blood. It takes all of my control to not pull her clothes. Ow. <laughs> Fuck, please. Don't cry. Fuck. Seven's eyes look hazy. With a small shuddering breath, she passes out. Ow. <laughs> Seven. Seven, hold on. I look over my shoulder at six. Get the get get the penancia 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 now. Okay, get it now. Get that now. I can't stop myself from snapping at him, but six only shakes his head. Already did. They're on their way. Okay. Uh, don't worry. She'll be okay. I mean, yeah. I look back at seven. No, Everin. Uh, though I want to keep holding on to her, I gently lay her down on the ground. I press down on her wound to try and control the bleeding. You'll be okay. You have to be. Please. Oh man. Oh my gosh. Just as Six promised, they got there for Seven quickly. Protocol dictates that I should leave, but that's one thing I, ref I refuse to do right now. Especially since Park is here. Yeah, I stand by Seven's bed with my arms crossed, the bag full of her clothes at my feet. While the pen- Penencia? Penencia? Penen- I don't know how to pronounce that. We're patching her up earlier. I slipped away to get Seven some clothes. I grabbed some sort of I grabbed some of the things from her room that I'd seen her wearing for her on her free time. No one pays either one of us any mind. Seven is stable enough to be left alone for now. At least that's what Dr. Ka Kamal said. My chest feels heavy, crushed under some invisible weight I can't swat away. Was this how she felt when I got shot in front of her? Pro yes, I was very worried too. At least she didn't get hurt from jumping in At least she didn't get hurt from jumping in front of me. Though I don't know if that really makes it any makes it better. It doesn't feel better. I stare at her peaceful sleeping face. Seeing her like this is almost seeing like this almost makes me forget it at, forget it all. Yeah. All the blood. It's been a while since I let anything get to me like this. Did I really let it though? <laughs> Did I? <laughs> I hear a familiar set of footsteps approach and even without looking I know who it is. Uh Raske, what is it? Uh, how long do you plan on standing here like her silent guard? As long as it takes. Uh, Raske clicks his tongue. You need to leave. Seven won't wake up anytime soon. And if she did, it's not your job to stand guard. I smirk at him. Funny that he doesn't deny there being a need for a guard. I glance over his shoulder at Park. Hmm. I don't know what the fuck. I don't know what the fuck she's working on, but at least it's keeping her out of my face now. At least it's keeping her out of my face for now. Yeah. I'm not going anywhere. It's against protocol for... I shrug. I'm well aware of the protocol, maybe more than most. Too bad that I don't fucking care about it right now. He stares at me and I stare right back, crossing my arms in front of me. The boy don't give a shit! He don't give a fuck! Raske sighs. Fine, you know they won't like it, but I won't stop you. Yes, I nod and, she and he turns to walk away. I'm getting punished for what happened anyway, so who cares if I get some more added on? Right now, I just want to make sure that Seven doesn't get overwhelmed by a bunch of assholes when he when she does wake up. I mean, it, either way it happens, like, Dr. Park just ends up grilling me anyways because, you know, of what I did. <laughs> so, there's no, there's no avoiding it. As valiant as an effort you put for. I glance at her, feeling that weight come rushing back to me. I look around to make sure no one is looking. Roske has disappeared from view and Park is busy with Dr. Kamo talking about things I can't be bothered to listen in on. I reach out and gently brush away uh, the hair from Everin's face. She's warm to the touch, maybe a little warmer than usual, but that's understandable given the situation. I'm sorry, I should have gone there sooner. If I was faster, you'd be fine now. Though she's fine now, with no drop of blood in sight, I can't unsee Everin covered in blood. I don't think I'll ever forget. I can't do anything to change what happened. So I set off for guarding her and so I set off for guarding her against the things she might not realize are da are a danger. In phase, there's not many you can really trust. Yes, but I'll have her back always. Oh <laughs> I settle in next to her bed again, crossing my arms as yeah, I settle in next to her bed again, crossing my arms as I watch for anyone uh for anyone unwanted who might approach. I failed her once. Never again. Oh my god. So my one last free night before I'm locked away. Yes, this is when we're under house arrest. And I find myself here, of all places. I could see her up on the roof all the way from my room. Maybe I shouldn't have come, I don't know. But seeing Seven eases the tension in me. I'm coming towards her when I- I'm coming towards her when I hear her speak. Who is this? I pause in my step. Weird way to ask who's walking up to her. She's on the phone, am I not? I narrow my eyes at her back. 
No, that's not it. Someone's calling her? Yes. Before I can say or do anything, she keeps- she just keeps talking. Kairos? Now I really can't move. Shit, Kairos? Yes. What the- how the hell do they keep contacting her? It has to be- it has to be Devil again. Probably. Who the fuck is Devil? I, I don't remember. <laughs> so he really is... I want to go up to her and interrupt what looks like a surprise call, but at the same time, I can't bring myself to do it. It's not really out of any sense of duty, I realize. Huh? But... What the hell are they saying to her? Uh, if I decide to meet Nish, where should I go? So it is about- so it is about her brother, I knew it. They seem to have the one thing she can't resist. Not that I blame her. Uh, the call seems to end there, and I watch her for just a little while longer before continuing my walk to her. What should I do? Seven turns around but just before I can reach her. Four? Uh, did you hear my conversation just then? A little bit. I'm not a spy or anything like that. A spy? Her? <laughs> Working in an organization like this, it shouldn't make me suspicious, I know. But the idea of her being a spy is so ridiculous that all I can do is stare at her. I know. I know that things probably look real bad for me right now. I messed up the mission, and, and Cairo is calling me, but I swear I didn't ask for them to. Yeah, no, no, we're good, we're, we're cool. Seven grabs her hand, Seven grabs her head with both hands and squeezes her eyes shut tight. My heart, is, my heart squeezes painfully at the sight. They just came out of nowhere asking if I wanted to meet Nish. And of course I want to see my brother, it's been so many years. Especially right now of all times, when I'm so unsure, I feel like... I just don't know. What to do, or... It's okay, Everin. Yeah, I step closer to her and gently cover her hands with mine. It's strange to feel her hands like this. They're smaller than I thought they would be. What I'm doing, anymore. She trails off, and I try to think of what to say as we wordlessly stare at each other. I pull her hands away from her head and reach up to stroke her hair instead. Whoa, soft. <laughs> very soft. It's Maybelline. Or Pantene. <laughs> For a moment, we stare. We just stare at each other. What the hell am I doing? Acting like I'm her boyfriend or something? <laughs> I mean, you very, very well can be. You know, I'm open to the idea. You know, there's that possibility. I'm just saying. You know, I won't be. I won't be against it. <laughs> I pull away from her and take a small step back. I feel like I should apologize for doing that. But since it calmed her. But since it calmed down her freak out, I'm not sure how to. Four? You look like you were really starting to panic. I didn't know what else to do, sorry. I want to apologize more, but I feel like that would just make things even, even weirder. No, it's fine, I just... You're right, I was freaking out. I've never felt so lost as I do right now. I almost always know what to do, what direction to go in. But it's like everything has gone wrong ever since I came to Olympia, and I don't know if I'm making the right choices at all. I'm suddenly second-guessing everything I do, and I just... I'm glad you're here for. And I'm glad you're here too, is what I want to say, but y you know. <laughs> Even if it makes you feel lost, is that selfish? I shove those thoughts away and focus on something else. About the mission. It was my mistake. You shouldn't blame yourself for it. I'm the one with more experience here. I should have known better. I should have controlled myself better. Uh, seeing you... Seeing you hurt, I lost my mind. I sigh. I wanted to do something for you after... I trail off, feeling unsure of how to tell her what I want to say. I wanted to cheer her up, but is that even possible after something like this? Just having someone who cares and listens is everything at times like this. As, as is everything at times like these. I just... don't know what to do. Was it a wrong decision to join FaZe? Maybe I'm just holding you guys back. I don't think I'm good enough to do this. Bullshit. I stay silent, keeping my words to myself until I can give her a calmer answer. Seven sighs and turns to look up at the sky. I need to... I'm not a very talkative person. I... I know, it's fine. You'd be the first to say that to me. But I'll try for you. <laughs> the look of surprise on her face almost makes me laugh. I get it, I'm not exactly the type to go out of my way to talk to people. What you're feeling is not anything unusual. Failure, I'm haunted by it day after day. Every time I look in the mirror, I see it. It's hard to forget. FaZe expects a lot from us, so even the smallest mistakes feel so much so much bigger. I pause, memories fill my mind. Of all the little things I've been scolded for, and all of the big fuck-ups. Everything we do here is heavier than most get to know. Heavier than you know, really. I don't know what this feeling is, but I don't want her to know. 
to know about the real darkness that FaZe holds. Most operatives don't get to know why they're doing what they're doing, but they have to learn to live with what they do, and even when they don't fully know what they're doing something. Even if they, do, they fully don't know why they're doing something. That, that kind of thing that, that kind of things weighs on you. And it only gets heavier with each mistake you make. Is it bad that I want to shield you from that? <laughs> the weight we carry follows us around everywhere. It can start to feel like we can't do anything right and we start doubting ourselves. Seven nods. Yeah, that's exactly how I feel right now. It's hard living like this. Despite what happened, I still think you're very capable. And I'm sorry I couldn't get to you in time. Four. Four! You're in Phantom Alpha because you belong here. If a broken fuck up like me deserves to be here, then someone like Seven does too. But don't forget that you're only human. Whatever the higher ups might make you feel sometimes. Never forget that. Mistakes are not the end of everything. You're allowed to know you're allowed to not know what to do sometimes. That's why you're not alone. We're in this together. I'll have your back always. <laughs> I don't know what goes on goes on in her head, but the next thing I know, Seven is hugging me. Yes, that's what I did. I stiffen in her arms. I just barely keep myself from outright gasping as her everything floods my senses. My mind is blank and I'm not sure if I should return the hug or push her away. No, I don't want to push her away. I wrap my arms around her, finally returning the hug. Ah, you guys are so cute. I don't say anything, but this but is there anything to say? Is there but is there anything to say? No. Action speaks louder than words. I close my eyes as I take in her warmth. My hand finds its way to gently stroke her back. I don't want to let go. I find myself wishing I could stop time and keep this moment from ending. If only... I open my eyes and look down when I feel her pull away slightly. Seven smiles up at me. You'd think I know this, but somehow... It's nice to hear it. Yeah, the responsibility of it all can be too much for, what, for just one person. That's why you should rely on us. Rely on me. I just a random thought just popped into my head. How tall are we? Like us as seven, because we seem very short compared to 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 you to to four here. I almost said Yungi, <laughs> but like in reality, like since they're they're still kind of based off of like the BTS, like you know BTS as a whole. Like I, I feel like you know like people people make Yungi and Jimin short shorter than they really are because when you see people who are like five foot standing right beside them they, they're tall they tall tall okay i don't know what everybody else is thinking even though they make themselves small sometimes but like they really tall and remember to breathe sit back and take some time to breathe and try to remember what you're doing this for what if i'm not so sh what if i'm not sure i nod slowly there's no there's nothing wrong to be there's nothing wrong with not being sure but i'm guessing you have some reason you started this and some reason that keeps you going when the darkness closes in. If you don't have it yet, I'm sure you'll find it. Seven looks down. Thank you. She pulls away from me, and it takes all of my self-control not to pull her right back into me. Oh my god, why don't you do it? <laughs> I don't miss the blush in her cheeks, and resisting her right now is probably the hardest thing I've had to do in a long time. Oh my god! <laughs> I love this! I love this! I love these little fluffy thoughts that he's thinking that we finally get to see. You're too cute for me. <laughs> I'm living. Yes, I ship. I ship. You know, you're very wise and cute. Thank you. I'll try to find that reason then. I'm not sure what I should do about Nish though. Go then. Huh? Uh, you want to, right? Uh, don't let the opportunity slip by. Living with regrets and what ifs won't be good for you. Yes, him, you're right. That's how I've been trying to live before too. I should try to not forget it from now on. What I want, yeah, what I want, I want to see Nish. I want to talk to him and find out why he joined Kairos. So do it. Do it! But I won't stop you and I don't plan on telling anyone. I ain't no snitch. Seven looks at me with this, with that same wide-eyed expression as before. Cute. <laughs> Cute! Stop. Even if I do, yeah, even if I do, it could still be a trap. I'll come with you. Yeah, huh? You would do that? Yeah. It could be dangerous. I can't ask you to do that. I don't want you to get hurt again. You've already done so much for me. I can ha I can handle it. We're teammates, so you should know that by now. But for this, I'm coming with you as a friend. She's not that I she's not that hard to surprise, is she? <laughs> you're an uh, you're an unpredictable guy, you know that? You don't say. When are we going? I guess now. Seven sighs and gives me a little smile. You free right now? Yes. For you? 
Anytime, yeah, of course. Ah, he's killing me. Don't kill me. Oh my, oh my god, I scared. Yay! Oh my god! Oh my god! Anyways, yes. Yeah, so, as uh, yes. Yeah, so we take the time to read this, you guys, because for those of you who are who are really looking looking forward to these let's play of this game, or you know want to kind of like get updates, the no, the latest no on this game, then definitely go follow their like in like what's it called their social medias, especially on Twitter. Um, from what I know now, a major change in this is that it's basically, excuse me, it's basically being run by just one creator now, and I believe the original creator. A lot of things has changed, I don't know the exact details on it, but it, all I know is that I feel like it's, it will be like the time between each chapters or episodes that will be released for this game will kind of be like a little bit longer so uh just so, so just be aware of that and in case like you don't you guys don't won't see any more updates on this game for like long periods of time that's what's going on right now but otherwise otherwise i'm still down to play this i'm still down to like of course finish this game when it finishes as well as you know go back and do some other routes as well too that are like possible but for now i'm gonna leave it here you guys thank you so much for your patience for your love for this game and to tuning into this episode this kind of like you know coming back you know just again you guys i'm still Still alive I'm still you know doing well thank you so much for your considerations and your understanding hopefully I'll be back soon times but for now of course I'm still on my semi semi hiatus um, again semi being that you know every once in a while when I get the chance I will upload something for you guys and this you know this being these one of those times so it will be far and few in between. Sometimes, you know, it'll be a while before I do something like this again. Or, you know, maybe I'll, I'll let you guys know. Don't worry about it. I'll let you guys know. I'll keep you posted. Follow me on my Twitter if you want. Or, you know, my Instagram, etc, etc. To, you know, get updates. But for now, thank you so much. Tune in next time on my other Let's Play when they come. Um, and then, yeah. So, yeah. Bye, you guys.